You guys really enjoyed the last life lessons video. So here's five more. The first life lesson is pick a degree or a job for the money first. And I've talked about this quite a few times, but it's so important that if you're young watching this, and if you still have the choice, ask yourself a very important question. Based on the skills, knowledge, and my competency, what job can I get that will pay me the most money? Ask yourself that one important question. What job can I get that will pay me the most money. If you live in the West, most countries or all the countries are capitalistic by nature. No one is coming to save you, especially if you're a guy watching this. No one is gonna save you. If you end up homeless, you're homeless. If you can't meet your bills, no one cares. People only care about the winners and I want all of you to win. It might sound weird or somehow, because I'm more or less saying, even if you don't like your job, if you think you can do it, effing do it and make that bread. And yes, that's what I'm saying to you. It sounds crude, but what would you rather do? Do you want to take a lower paying job just so they can have some sort of work-life balance? Because more times than not, most people's concern is that more or less, they'll have no time to live life. And I'm here to tell you, you will live your life a lot better if you can afford to do so. If you're living paycheck to paycheck with a comfortable job, is that living life? Wouldn't you rather sweat effing try to get that high paying job just so you can increase your chance of having a better life in the long run? I would. And that's a sacrifice I made. The second life lesson is do not follow your passion right now. Again, do not follow your passion right now. I'm gonna give an example. My friend Steve, hopefully he doesn't mind me talking about this. My friend Steve currently is pursuing his passion in music and his songs are effing good. He started rapping from 13, 12, we grew up in Lagos together and I remember him having his more or less like rap book, he used to write rhymes, all of that stuff. But he didn't pursue his passion straight away. A lot of people want to be creatives and I get it. You like music, you like acting, but let's be honest, one of 10 musicians, actors actually end up successful. Best way to guarantee yourself success in this world is to go to university and study a degree that has high demand. My friend Steve, he studied law at undergrad. He then got a master's in law and did his MBA and then decided to pursue his passion in making music. Because by doing it this way, I know for sure he's gonna make it music, but in the 1% chance that he doesn't, which can happen, he knows that he has a law degree and an MBA to fall back on. Think about life like always trying to hedge your bets. You should always be trying to hedge your bets. Me for example, a lot of always ask me, will you go full time with YouTube? Hell no. You've just seen what happened to TikTok. TikTok is about to get banned in the US. No one knows for certain what will be here in the next 10 to 15 years. To be honest, Google YouTube will probably be here, but you still have to hedge your bet. You still have to make sure you're being very cautious, which is why I have a full time job that I love in banking, but also on the weekends, I make YouTube videos. Why not do both? Because by doing both, you're hedging your bets completely. Since we're on the topic of YouTube, another life lesson for me is start trying to make money as soon as you can. This could be you at 13, 14, 15, 16. Start as soon as you can. If you're watching this and you're 16, 17, 18, find a way to start making money online. It could be TikTok. It could be a YouTube channel. It could be Skillshare. It could be you vlogging. Just find a way. The earlier you start to make money, obviously, the better. Because that way, you can invest more of that money and make a better return. But for me, and for most people my age, I'm 26, effing old man, a lot of us didn't think about starting to make money to our first summer internship job where we got paid probably 5, 6, 10k. That feels nice. But for me, from A-levels, my first year, even GCSEs, I should be trying to make money somehow. And there's so many different ways to make money. The best thing for you to do, again, go to YouTube, go to Google, type how to make money online. Compile a list of like 15 different ones you like and ask yourself again, based on my skills and knowledge, which one can I do? And that's how you approach this question. If you're enjoying the video so far, please drop a like and leave a comment. It definitely goes a long way. Now, this is the last life lesson. You have to focus on your own journey sometimes. I'm saying sometimes because you must compare yourself to other people. A lot of people say, don't compare yourself to others, focus on your own journey, but no, 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 no. Think about life in a distribution. Most people are average, 
Some people are doing worse and some people are doing way better. You should be comparing yourself to everyone. Those that are doing worse. Ask yourself, these guys are not doing well in life. What habits do they have? What are they currently doing? That's not allowing them to more or less be like me in the most non-arrogant way. And also, look at the people doing way better than you. Compare yourself to them financially, physically, mentally. Ask yourself, what edge do they have on me? What are they currently doing and what can I learn from them? The only way to learn from someone is by comparing yourself to that person and saying, hey, this guy knows a lot more than me. Let me try and get some insight. And I get it. A lot of people say don't compare yourself because when you do, if you don't do it in a constructive way, you tend to then feel horrible, bad, or even sad about your situation. But I want you guys, my subscribers, to be effing mentally strong. Compare yourself to me. Ask yourself, what's the maker doing better than me and what can I learn from him? That's why I make YouTube videos. Also me, I watch people on YouTube, Mike Thurston, Iman Ghazi, Obi Vincent. I watch their videos and I compare myself to them and say, hey, how can I get as big <laughs> physically as well? Or it's quite big. How can I get as big as them on YouTube? And I think that will help you improve. Compare yourself, give yourself some grace, but also be constructive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you found that useful. Like the video, share it to your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.